Hi again, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bursch back along with Carl Nelson. We're at the Imagination Station here and yep. dealing with bubbles today. Some nice big bubbles and even ideas how you can make your own at home. You can do this at home. Okay. Now, a lot of people, you'll, you can make bubble juice really easily, right? Use some Dawn dish detergent, maybe a couple of teaspoons or tablespoons full okay. and like a liter of water. And that'll make a nice bubbly solution. But if you really want to step it up to what the pros use when they're making their professional bubble solutions, you're going to want to add the most important ingredient called guar gum. Okay? Guar gum. It's okay. something you can find in like the uh, organic section in most grocery stores. Okay. It's a polymer and it has an amazing effect on the bubbles. So add maybe like one teaspoon. This whole recipe is on the website, okay? So you don't need to follow along. Okay. But one teaspoon of guar gum and a little bit of baking powder. It helps adjust the pH level, okay? Sure, it's science. And I'll be honest, I don't know the complete chemistry of why this works so well. We've got, you know, your proprietary chemistry for your Dawn dish detergent, <laughs> the polymer with the guar gum, the pH of the water, the minerals in your tap water, all combine in this really big variable space. Yeah. And what's cool about that is you can vary all these components and experiment and find the very best formula that works for your conditions. Okay. As a meteorologist, you know that bubbles depend upon moisture, yes. right? If it's too dry, it's the death of a sure, bubble. Sure. Why don't you go ahead and pull that big wand out? We've already made some yeah. juice here. Pull it up and just give it a swirl through the air. Ooh. Oh, isn't that nice? Ooh, that is Look at nice. that. Huge bubble. That's the effect of the guar gum. That polymer in there. Go do it again. So this yeah. is this has that solution. This has in the guar gum okay, in there. The yeah. Super duper solution. The super okay. duper solution, and right it makes the bubbles self healing. If, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh, I went too fast. Love that. Right. Look, we got a giant bubble here. Now, you could be content with just the wand like this. And it, hold that up again. You notice there's cotton fiber around the rod. That holds a lot more of the liquid, okay. letting you make those really big bubbles. Now, okay. we can step that up a level. Okay? Of course, we're at the imagination Over station. here, I've got a contraption on the ground. It's just two sticks okay. with some cotton thread in the middle, a weight at the bottom. Go ahead and lift it up. Let's see what it looks like. Hold them wide open. It's a big net, okay? okay. Bring it over here. I got a bucket of our special juice. We're gonna lower this down inside the solution. Okay, so we got our cotton string and our super bubble solution connected to two really cheap rods. Go ahead and pull that straight up, Jay. Get it straight up in the air. When you get it high up, go ahead and spread those apart. Spread the net open and step back a little bit and you make a ginormous Whoa. bubble. Still going. <laughs> yeah. You can that make bubbles huge... inside bubbles if you're really clever it's too. It's almost like watching a balloon launch. And it that is. thing is still going up in the sky, Carl. It's still going. That's amazing. It's all the effect of that guar gum really making the bubbles durable. That you is so definitely cool. have to try it. It is so easy to do. You can make it at home. And Recipe is on our website, imaginationstationtoledo.org. Okay, and folks can check that out. And again, this is one you can do. Absolutely. Great time of the year to do that. Get the kids outside. And it's nice, clean fun, too. And it's so simple, so easy. You can yeah. make bubbles with anything. And it's so cheap, too. It is. Cheap, cheap instruments here, cheap items. So great idea. All right, All right, thank you so much. For Carl Nelson, I am Chief Meteorologist Jay Bershback, and that was Imagine It. Also, don't forget Mythbusters, the explosive exhibition, opens today. You can discover the madness behind the method and apply the scientific method to uncover the truth behind popular myths. The Imagination Station is open today from 10 until 5. Tomorrow it opens at noon. And Mythbusters, it goes all the way until January 10th. There's an additional charge, but you get to go to the rest of the Imagination Station.